Is this racism or is it something else? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about this video that has kind of gone viral on the Internet, on Twitter, TikTok, etc. Featuring a woman who appears to be a black woman at a random pool hall in Hiram, Georgia. Now, Hiram is about... 45 minutes from Midtown Atlanta. So it's kind of in the Atlanta metro, but it's not Atlanta at all. We'll talk about that a little bit more a little bit later. Now, she's accusing this bar, this pool hall or whatever of being racist. Now, through watching the video, I could see how somebody could make that assertion. But I also think there's something else going on aside from the race issue. The race issue is not even really the problem, in my humble opinion. Now, let's go ahead and... Roll this here. We, we got to check it out together, of course. And of course, this link will be in the description if you want to see it without my commentary. But let's go ahead and roll it. What is you talking about? And you're not talking to me. You are not talking to me. No, you're not. You are not talking to me. So come with it. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to box my food and I'm going to finish my food and then I'll leave. Is that a vape pen right there? I'm just asking for later purposes, but obviously there's some kind of argument right there with some of the pictures of the bar. She's not really happy. She's black. They're white. They're kind of like, I guess you would say redneck. Maybe that's the correct term. I, that's okay with me, baby. I got Hold on, let's back, back up a little bit. And I'm going to finish my food and then I'll leave. I, that's okay with me, baby. I got a lot of money in my account. I asked her to turn it down and she got snappy with me and she just threw a whole box at me. I come up here and I play pool all the time. I didn't. So all the time, she did just throw that box at me, sir. Period. I'm in a white. So somebody in the back, a patron says, what you doing in a white place like this? Place like this guy right here. That's what he says. Random guy looking like he's sitting, sitting by himself. Not the actual bar owner. This is because I came up here to play pool. This is the only place with a pool table in the vicinity. So that's what I'm doing in a white place. That's what I'm doing in a white place. That's what I'm doing in a white place. That's what I'm doing in a goddamn white place. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. But guess what? Because I can come out and spend my money. Now, see, so you hear what you said? She was like, why don't you go buy your own pool? I got so much money. <laughs> because she was bragging about having so much money all this in the third. So that's what he said. Money how I want to. You taking our comment very offensive. All that really snazzy, period. I took it there. I know you racist. You look like a racist, but that's why you're poor. Most racist people are poor. My okay, so so that's that. Now, the accusation is that this is racism. Now, I I could tell what's going on here, just from here's my opinion. Now, do I know this person? Do I know this bar? Do I know, do I know anybody in that bar? No, I don't. I'm going to give you my opinion, how I think. Now, as y'all may or may not know, I live right here in Tennessee. I'm not far from Georgia. I'm in Atlanta all the time. I'm in the surrounding areas all the time. And here's something else. I was born in Charleston, West Virginia, very small town, smaller than pretty much anything. Like Hiram is a small town. But it would be considered like a big city in West Virginia, kind of, if that makes any sense. So here's what I'm, here's my point that I'm making. I understand the cultural differences between a place like Hiram and a place like Atlanta. If you want to go have your vape pen, be loud, be obnoxious or whatever, you can go to Atlanta. Hiram is not Atlanta. Hiram is close to ATL, but it's not ATL. Okay. Atlanta is its own little world especially like in what, what they call inside the perimeter, the 285 perimeter. Once you're inside that area, you're in a whole different place. Okay. If you want to have that kind of behavior, go to Midtown, go to Buckhead, go to downtown and you, you'll fit right in. But see, here's, here's the problem with what happens when people want to act like that outside the perimeter in these little small towns, it's not appreciated. That's not what you do out there. You got to go inside the perimeter. But the problem with going inside the perimeter 
is that there's a lot of violence. <laughs> okay, you want to you want to go party in Midtown? You want to go party in Buckhead? Oh, okay, it, it might be all right, especially during the daytime. It'd be cool in the daytime for the most part, but at night, it can get randomly violent for no reason at all. Random gunshots, just whatever, all kind of crazy violence. Now you could deal with the crazy violence if you want to behave how you want to behave. But if you don't want to have the crazy violence, you want a more quiet atmosphere, then you go outside the perimeter, Cartersville, Hiram, Dallas, somewhere, little small towns, even up Route 400, going to like the Lake, Lake Lanier, Buford, Alpharetta, or like down south, like McDonough, or past that. But if you go out there, you can't be acting like you're still in Midtown or in Buckhead or in downtown or east side, west side, south side, you have to behave like those who are out there. And the whole race element of it, it's not really the problem. If you just, if you're going to go to this little small town, Hiram, Georgia, you have to act like them. That's just what it is. You know, same way, if you want to go to Midtown, you got to act like them. So if you go to the bar and you don't want to smoke hookah, <laughs> you might not want to go to Midtown. You might want to go, up Route 400, where ain't no hookah going on. When in Rome, do as the Romans, not even the race thing. Now, of course, you could find a racist person. The guy in the back sitting by himself, the random patron says, yeah, I'm racist. We doing it in a white place like this. But you know what he asked? A very good question. He asked a good question. You could say it's racist or whatever, but I think a lot of us, we're grown, we're adults. We could look, we could look past that and not be so offended and triggered and butthurt at just what he said. We could look at it just for the reality of what it was. You see, she was probably in a white place like that because she doesn't want to go deal with the violence and the chaos inside the perimeter of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay? That's what that was. But again, she wants to act like she's still out there. You wouldn't bring the same behavior that fits into a more violent and dangerous place to this little uh, country hit town where they don't act like that. And that could be, they, they could be black folks like that, white folks like that, different races. When I go to some of the places in Georgia, outside the perimeter, it's, it's much more racially diverse. If I'm going inside the perimeter, if I'm going midtown, it's going to be LGBT and it's going to be black. Downtown, Buckhead, same thing. LGBT and black. That's what it's going to be. So you just got to kind of operate how you operate depending upon where you are. And if you don't want to deal with some of the nonsense, then you can't bring your nonsense with you. That's all it is to it. And a lot of that, that's, that kind of explains a lot of the racial tension because unfortunately, a lot of cultural differences kind of are easily identifiable among racial lines. Kind of. Certain parts of Georgia, well, in Atlanta Metro, the black areas at one way, the white areas at one way, but there are certain parts of the metro where it's more diverse and mixed. Like where I live right now, I'm in, I'm in kind of a suburb area in Chattanooga, and it's people will assume that it's like 90% white, but it's not. It's actually very diverse. A lot of Indian, like, uh, like Indian subcontinent, India families out here, Hispanic, white, black, everything. This area is more diverse than you would like, like a, um, a Midtown would be or Hiram, Georgia. It's funny how that works. But the main thing we have in common is, is cultural things. Okay, we take care of our homes. We take care of the community. We, we got that in common. All right, that's, that's kind of how that works. But like I said, in America, a lot of the cultural differences rely upon racial lines. And what she was seeing right there was a cultural difference and not a racial difference. That's what that was. And here's my last point I wanted to make. If you feel like you're a victim of racism and you're not wanted in the place, why would you fight to give them your money? You know, what you could do, the main thing you could do to fight against any kind of racism you see is to deny them money. That's what you could do. If you're not welcome in the place, it doesn't matter if it's racism, if it's classism, if it's sexism, if it's LGBTQism, whatever it is, you say, you know what? I don't want to give you my money. Rather than filming a TikTok and trying to put them out on blast, how about you just don't give them no the money no, no more? You filming this little bar in Hiram, Georgia, is not going to affect them. Okay, it wasn't nobody in there, really. Like, they probably had the same patrons since, like, 1970s. What are you going to do to actually impact their business? Nothing. 
it was it was really silly. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How you feel about that clip? Was that an episode of racism or was there a cultural difference? And if I didn't say what the problem was, I think she was talking about the lady turn up the, the, the music in the jukebox too loud or something, something small like that. Again, for the patrons that had been there since 1970s, 80s, it's fine for them. They all have a similar culture, but you come in with your vape pen and your buckhead attitude to this little small town. It's like, come on, like, where are you at right now? Where are you at? People don't like New York City slickers coming to their little small town and trying to behave like however they want. They want you to come to their town and become part of their culture, become like them. When you behave as an outsider, you might as well be a space alien. Just like, again, it, it's, it's easy to just go by this mantra. When in Rome, do as the Romans, and you won't have many problems, I promise. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.